Today we are going to learn how to make hummingbird food. It is spring and all of the hummingbirds are coming our way. So step one is going to be to boil two cups of water. I am making two cups of bird food. Follow me to the sink and we will fill this thing with water. I have a gas stove, so this should get it going pretty quickly. I'm gonna put it on high, and as soon as it gives me the signal with my tea kettle, then we will go ahead and make our food. Hey, look, it's whistling. That means it's ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and remove it from the heat, and we're going to take this right over to our two cup measuring cup. Now, important that it's glass. Do not do this in any kind of metal. For some reason, when you do hummingbird food in metal, it taints their food faster and then it goes bad very quickly. So I have learned over the years not to do it that way and I've been making hummingbird food for about six years now. We get several hundred a year. Next step is our sugar. Now it's okay to scoop the sugar out and put it into the water with metal. This is stainless. Do not mix the food, cool the food, and then feed the food to the birds in any kind of metal. Make sure that there's no lumps in your sugar. If there is, run it through a sifter. It is one half cup of sugar sugar for two cups of water. So if you're only gonna make one cup of food, you're gonna use one quarter cup of sugar. And pour it in, and you are gonna stir this, as you notice, I'm using plastic. You are gonna stir this until it is completely clear, like water, no cloudiness at all. And you will be able to see through it just as if you were looking through a glass of water. Be patient, continue to stir it, let it stop for a second, let it settle. I still see a little bit of cloudiness, so I will continue to stir it. You want every, every little kernel of sugar completely dissolved. You can fast cool it in the refrigerator or you can just cool it on the counter. I prefer to cool it on the counter. If your food is still sitting there after four or five days, go check it. When it starts to get bad, it has a very distinct scent to it. Dump it out and put in some new. So all that's left now is to pour it into my feeder. And I have chosen to use the glass feeders over the plastic feeders because they hold so much more. Then you all can walk with me while I hang it up and hopefully we'll see birds really soon. In case anybody is wondering if you fill this up with water and and the ants try to come down. Most of the time they will drown before they can get to your food. Let's go ahead and hang this baby up. Now the one in the backyard, I already have about 10 birds that are feeding off of that. So we'll see. If you have any questions, comments, just uh, comment below or email me at yourcraftynanny at gmail.com. See you next week.